Good evening everybody. In today's video we are gonna revisit the schematic fragments and what the best way to acquire these is nowadays. So to start from the top the reason I want to revisit this now if you've been following along I've often had great focus on stellar compass exactly to uh, get all these schematic at the cheapest possible way. Um, there were some updates done to that long ago and now um, schematics has once again been slightly updated if we go to the special bundle shop here i'm not sure uh, if you paid close attention to this but for a while we've had the wonderful treasures here and just recently this uh, chest in that got changed so before it would be kind of like this uh, specific chest of four to five different immortal schematic fragment selections in it. Whereas now it's basically all our best basic um, elements and it's this earth artifact schematic fragment chest and the rest of them. So what this means is just that every other day now you can buy these and you can basically just uh, target your specific immortal and hereby quite quickly get um, schematics for him. So I have uh, quite frankly always bought this whenever Homer's Epic, uh, the chest uh, that one uh, was in. And now I just kind of came to this realization that I can buy this almost every day and quickly acquire uh, the specific schematics I wanted. So what this means is like, is it suddenly quite an easy and affordable way to get schematics or should we still pay a lot of uh, attention to the stellar compass the main difference here between the two bundle bundles is of course that the uh, stellar compass has these very affordable bundles at what is one dollar here to get four crystal balls and you can buy five of those on a daily basis across three days meaning you can buy 15 so spend 15 dollars and you will basically get 60 crystal balls. So this is fairly uh, cheap. Uh, and at the same price, you would only be able to go three rounds of this one, for instance. So what we know for a fact is that in this case, we would be getting 12 fragment selection chests for the price of 60 crystal balls. And this is what has brought me back to is Stellar Compass still the best way? Or may perhaps uh, it just be better to just um, buy these, like the wonderful treasure bundle on a daily basis almost. And I have gone a bit in depth with the math. So if we just take a look over here. So what I have compiled here is basically a reward matrix of the Stellar Compass. And what it shows is just that basically that we can expect of course to get 60 schematics by going through 300 horoscopes and this is uh, what we do to spend one uh, crystal ball we use one horoscope here and it just shows the total rewards that we will be getting um, so then of course there is a matter of luck in this game and if we just anticipate 30% for instance, that would mean that we just need to spend 210 crystal balls in order to get our 60 schematics. And this is like the grand price. The rest here is just nice rewards, but it's definitely important to have in mind um, once you start comparing to other bundles, which we're doing in this case, for instance. So there's a lot of soul crystals gains, a lot of experience, also uh, speed ups, there's a ton here, also gold, as well as uh, the resources we need to use on uh, forging. So all these material chests, the epic forging chests that we get, it's actually equivalent to 40 million resources. So don't take it lightly, uh, the extra rewards in this Stellar Combat, it's really great. Um, but of course the main objective is to get schematics. So just to compare that, say in a scenario where that we had a 30% drop rate, and this is really like, I haven't measured a thousand crystal ball rewards. For instance, this round, I just got lucky and had one at the very first attempt. So that would bring us at a tremendously positive, uh, like I would have to 
in order to get two schematics i could even just go 101 uh, horoscopes only to get two and perhaps even be lucky with i don't know another 30 and then i would have a 55 percent drop uh, luck rate um but to be kind of realistic i think it's uh, more realistic to be up in the around this area to be going 210 crystals to get three schematics for instance and what i've just gone here is just to compare the bundle purchasings so what it just shows you is the quantities we can buy of bundle so of course the one dollar is the most attractive we are however limited to only buy it five times and it provides us with four crystal balls by purchasing it five times we would spend five dollars and we would get 20 crystal balls that's a price of 25 cents per crystal ball and then we could just see here that we need to spend in this range here 210 of these meaning a total schematic would cost us 52 dollars you can also compare this number to the once a month your favorite immortal like alexander for instance can be acquired um through this um the weekly purchases i don't quite remember the name of it but there you can purchase five times ten dollar bundle and you get a full schematic as well so it's at the same price range as that and then we can just jump down to the wonderful treasures and try to just do the same thing here that the five dollar bundle gives us four schematics and in order to get a full schematic um we would then need 60 divided by 40 that's the amount of rounds we would need and we just multiply that by the five dollar giving us a price per schematic in the wonderful treasures bundle cost 75 dollars so it is quite a bit more expensive and just knowing this number we can kind of look at our break even luck that in order to get 75 dollars here that would leave us at a four so that's exactly a zero percent luck rate so if you are already buying wonderful treasures to get the schematics you should definitely be buying the one dollar crystal balls here what we can however do is to move on to the next bundle so the five dollar bundle here and well we can just quickly see that the price goes up quite tremendously and this is where that depending on the luck like if we are at 30 percent then it's actually 105 dollars suddenly for um a schematic so we really need to get quite a bit more lucky on that one uh, and in order to break even there, so for this uh, $5 purchase uh, to be as valuable as the wonderful treasures, suddenly we need to increase our luck by a tremendous amount. So twice as, uh, like we need to be twice as lucky in a sense. And that's what we see here. So we do need to only spend 150 crystal balls to go through three rounds and get our 60 schematics in order for the five dollar bundle to be worthwhile this is in comparison to wonderful treasures so mind if you already know that yeah wonderful treasures is a great deal this is also quite a good deal still of course it then becomes less and less attractive as we move on to the bigger bundles so overall the conclusion here is definitely that still a compass is one of the best spending events in my opinion you get so many rewards apart from our main objective which are these schematics and then at the same time the one dollar bundle is just an amazing deal so you should definitely be buying that if you really are chasing the best schematics and you need them fully developed then yeah you should probably also buy wonderful treasures as well as the five dollar bundles and then it's up to your spending and your wallet if you want to keep climbing that ladder so yeah, if we just head back real quick, then because both events now provide exactly the uh, schematics we would like, we can easily rotate this one to get, uh, if I want, for instance, the fire. You can get all your favorite immortals here, like in the purchasing, uh, the wonderful treasures. So it's really up to you now to just uh, pick whichever bundle and how much you want to spend. And then yeah still go ahead and just uh, buy the wonderful treasures it's completely up to you what your modules you want as well as in the stellar compass now so that's it for this video guys stay tuned like and subscribe see you around bye bye